Uh, we're struggling. Uh, you know, we, we got a bunch of new guys and, and inexperience, and it's been tough. You know, we've had uh, what is it, seven straight games on the road, and got four more, and we played some. You know, Kansas State, Virginia, Alabama already. You know, some big schools. Still got Purdue and Baylor left. Um, um, we're getting knocked around pretty good, but the good thing is, I, I think the, the new guys are getting better each game. Um, we knew this was going to be a tough spell. Um, we just got to get through this next month, and, and, but I think we'll do pretty well in conference, and that, that's what really matters. Um, but we just got to keep working and, and, and trying to get better. Um, we've dealt with some injuries um, also, which haven't helped, but that's just part of the game. And so, you know, we'll see. You know, this is a good opportunity coming up against Purdue. Um, Force and anytime you play a bigger school, um, you always got an opportunity. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, you kind of tell them it's not going to be this hard in, in conference on the road from the standpoint from the crowd, um, the size of the teams. Um, and, and so it's kind of keeping positive, you know, and even uh, especially the size of the players. You know, we get a lot of shots, we get a lot of shots blocked around the bucket that it's not going to happen in league play just because we don't have the seven footers, the 6'10 guys that uh, the BCS schools have. And so you got to be careful as a coach because you can get down too much, um, especially when you're getting beat. But as part of being at a smaller school, um, the pre-conference um, can be really tough. But it doesn't have to be this tough, but we had some circumstances that put us in this position that we really couldn't control. But the good thing is it won't be that way next year. But we just got to get through it. And I got to be careful myself and not get too negative on the guys. I got to look and make sure that we are getting better. Um, really, the only game I was really disappointed in, I thought we had uh, poor effort against Arkansas State. So I had a problem and, and let them know it after the game and in the practices. But everywhere else, I think the, the effort's been there. But the one thing that's been really hurting us is, is our turnovers. And so that's something we really got to focus on. You know, hard nose uh, team, uh, run a lot of sets. Um, the main scorer, uh, a kid named Bird, and uh, can really shoot it. Um, and so, a lot of man-to-man, -man. they don't play a lot of zone. Uh, and, and so it's just back to basic basketball, but they play hard. It's a hard place to play. You know, I grew up there and played there, coached, coached in that arena. Um, but it'd be a good experience for our guys. And, you know, we're gonna have to mix up the defense. Um, I, I think you'll see us um, mixing up man and zone. And, and, but we've got to do a better job taking care of the ball. That's a man, no matter what we do on defense, when your offense is the other team's best offense, you can't win. Um, we, uh, we're, we're averaging probably giving up between 25 and 30 points just on turnovers alone. And that's a lot of teams have their scoring. And so if we do a better job taking care of the ball and, and do what we're, we're capable of, you know, I think we got, you know, we always have a chance, but yeah, I just get really worried about the turnover. Not really because it's still Baylor. Uh, but I, I think it's good that we play a team like Pan Am, play a team like Lafayette. Uh, on the road because they're just like what we're going to see for 18 games in the league. But still, it doesn't matter if you play a BCS team that's close to home or away, it's still a BCS team. You're going to have the fans, you're going to have the size, you're going to have the um, talent um, going against you. Um, and, and, but it's still the travel. Um, you know, even though you play a team close, you still got to get on a bus and, and that can wear you down. And, and that's one thing we haven't been able to have is a lot of practice time this last month. And, and I think it's hurt us, and, and especially with a young team and an inexperienced team. But the good thing is we, we've been able to have four days of practice before Purdue, before we make that three-game swing with Lafayette, um, Baylor, and uh, Pan Am. We'll have a, a week of practice before that. So it kind of is getting back to normal. Um, for us. And then after that, we have a big break. Um, we'll practice some after the Pan Am game, let the kids go home for about four or five days. And then we got four or five days to finally prepare for Long Island. So now it's kind of getting back to normal, even though we still got a lot of road games left.